is a trial involving a murder that shook so many uh, who sent teenagers to the University of Florida. We're going to be talking about that today. Yeah, jury selection begins today for 20-year-old Pedro Bravo. He is charged with killing his friend, 18-year-old Christian Aguilar, two years ago. Elizabeth Campbell is joining us now with more on this trial. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning, Jen. This will likely be a very emotional trial for the family of Christian Aguilar. It's been nearly two years since his body was found. Now, we have a picture of 20-year-old Pedro Bravo, who is accused of killing him. He is charged in the September 2012 death of 18-year-old Christian Aguilar. There was a massive search that began when Aguilar was reported missing, and his body was later discovered by hunters in a rural area of Levy County in October. Now, we also have a picture of Christian. His family told News for Jacks after his death that he had a warm smile and a spirit that touched people when they got to know him. They were shocked and saddened over his death nearly two years ago and had a hard time coming to terms with what happened. Now, we also have video of Bravo in court in September of last year. And according to a grand jury indictment, Bravo poisoned and suffocated Aguilar, who he attended school with prior to college. He originally told police he beat Aguilar up over a fight with a girl. The Gainesville Sun says Bravo faces life in prison if convicted. Now, Bravo is facing up to seven charges, including first degree murder, kidnapping, poisoning, making a false report, obstructing a criminal investigation, destroying evidence, and mishandling human remains. He has remained in jail without bond. And again, that trial is scheduled to start today, later this morning. Reporting live, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.